Thousands of pets found living in filthy conditions inside a home in Middletown. Officers found them while serving a search warrant yesterday. WLWT News 5's Adam Berniston here in the studio now with how these animals are doing and what you can do out there to help out. Hi, Adam. Yeah, hey, Mike. Officers had to condemn the home since the conditions were so uh, bad inside there. The Animal Friends Humane Society, though, stepped in to help rescue 31 dogs, two ducks and one cat from the home. But now their shelter is well over capacity, so they're asking for the community's help to save these pets. <coughs> Dogs are all extremely scared. They're all very nervous. Um, a lot of them are shut down. Most of them have never been outside of that home. These are pictures from inside the home on Hill Avenue in Middletown. Nearly three dozen animals found there and now in the care of the Humane Society. But one of the biggest obstacles they're trying to overcome is the increasing medical bills. All of these animals are going to have to be spayed and neutered. Um, and then a lot of them are older and are probably going to need dentals at some point, And those can start, medical bills can start getting higher by the minute. While the dogs and cat learn how to exist outside of the filthy conditions, Poffenbarger is staying optimistic that some will soon be adoptable. I would say at least 50% of them will be up for adoption at some point, And we're hoping within the next week or two that we can start placing some of the adults up for adoption. In the meantime, they are also in desperate need of more foster homes and adoptions as their shelter is over capacity. We have over 150 dogs in our building right now. We can only normally hold 120. So we need people to come in and get these dogs out of this building. Um, and we have plenty of great adoptable dogs that are just sitting waiting. Now, Middletown police did charge three people with animal cruelty in this case. As for those two ducks in the hoarding case, they are also doing OK and are on their way to a wildlife rescue to be cared for properly. Adam Bernison, WLWT News 5. I wish I could adopt all of them. Adam, thanks so much.